Yeah, today we're gonna play wiffle ball. Wiffle ball with wiffle ball. Wiffle ball with plastic balls. I brought my backstop that I made, a wiffle ball bat that we got at the Phillies game, I think two years ago. I brought a whole brand new box of wiffle balls and my drone. We're gonna show some sick wiffle ball pitches today, all right? All right, here's our brand new, fresh out of the box wiffle balls. Not scuffed, perfect condition. This is what we're gonna be throwing. We got a dozen of them. Because in wiffle ball tournaments, you're not allowed to use scuff balls. You just gotta go with this standard regulation wiffle ball. All right, here's our first pitch. It's called the curve ball. What you wanna do if you're a right-handed pitcher is you want to hold the holes facing to the left. That's the way that the ball is gonna break. So I usually start like this, kind of fingers together, holes facing towards the way you're gonna going to want the ball to break. Just snap straight down. You don't need to worry about flicking your wrist or anything. Just straight down, the ball is gonna break. Check it out. Alright, right, you ready? Alright, different view. We're doing all curveballs, so we're holding it this way. We're just gonna throw it over the top. Alright, you ready? Curveballs! Don't swing on them if they're high. If a five-year-old's hitting your nasty curveball, you might want to switch it up. Change speeds, change arm slots, change pitches. Don't throw curveball after curveball. They're going to start getting to it. Sheesh. Switch it up and don't call out your pitches. The other pitch that I wanted to show is it's a cutter that cuts in on a right-handed batter and away from a left-handed batter. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wiffle ball and we're gonna put the seams facing in towards the right-handed batter, hold it the same way, release it the same way. It'll cut this way. Now, this ball doesn't break as much as the curveball. The curveball can break up to 10, 20 feet. This break, it's shorter, it's a quick break at the end. Let's check it out. I gotta start these farther out. Sorry. Oh! Back there. This is how I would approach a batter. I'd probably start them off with a curveball. Hopefully, they chase at it out of the zone. 
All right, it's 1-0. Lily, what should I throw next? I don't want to throw in that pitch again. I'm going to throw them the cutter. Got it in there. Livy got hurt, so why don't you... Your pinky still hurts? Tell me what to throw next. It's 1-1. One, one. All right, I showed him both of my best pitches. So next I'm going to try to throw it right at him, right at his waist. Right at his waist, curve it right in the strike zone. One, two. So he doesn't know what I'm going to throw. I got him one, two. I'm going to throw him another curve, and I'm going to start it outside. Make him chase. Say he doesn't chase. Now it's 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to try to hit the lower bottom right inside corner with a, a cutter right in on the hands. Okay, him. All right, he didn't swing at that. Probably would swing at it, but say he doesn't. Going to finish him off with that curveball again. Got it. All right, the moon's out. We have maybe 10 minutes of daylight left. The last pitch I wanted to show you is the drop. All you do is you hold it so the holes run parallel to the ground and you have to release its sidearm. The ball will drop. Check it out. All right, let's get this set up. All right, we don't have too much time left, so we're gonna finish off with some drone footage of the breaking balls. Right, subscribe. Good. All right, I'm up here in my son's bedroom. He's downstairs watching a movie, so this is like the quiet spot in the house right now. We've got all your names in this uh, bucket of people that commented on the last video about the drone. Um, I'm giving away the stack of 10 Honus Wagner reprint 1909 cards. What I'll do is I'm just going to dump these names from up above and whatever uh, name lands on the cards or closest to the cards wins. So here we go. Well, that didn't go as planned. All right, we've got oh, four touching. They are City Ballhawk, Dom the Ballhawk, Matthew, and Domino out of 430. This would have been a lot easier if Olivia didn't fall asleep. All right, we've got those four. Here we go, round two. Closest one gets it. There we go. It's a Twitter winner. Dominata 430. Congratulations. For today's giveaway, I've decided to give away two of the wiffle balls that we've used in the video via a raffle. Again, all you have to do is leave a comment, retweet, the link of this video on Twitter. Just follow at Jabs Family to do that. And I'll have another raffle tomorrow for you. What you watching? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
is this? 